Some breaking news for you. Iranian state media are saying one of the country's top nuclear scientists has been assassinated. Uh, Press TV has quoted unofficial sources saying that Mohsen Fakhrizadeh was killed near Tehran. However, conflicting reports, Iran's nuclear energy organization has denied there has been any incident involving a nuclear scientist. Clearly, highly significant news if confirmed. I'm joined by Sebastian Usher, our Middle East editor for the World Service. Sebastian, uh, first, what are you hearing from different sources about whether there has been an assassination attempt or not? Well, since the news broke about half an hour ago, there have been conflicting reports originally on state-owned media outlets like Press TV. It was stated quite clearly, but from unofficial sources, that he had been assassinated. Uh, Then other reports came through saying that he had been wounded, uh, but was now being treated in hospital. Now, I've just seen out of the corner of my eye here, but the defense minister in Iran has now announced that uh, Mossan Fakhrizadeh uh, has died. He has been assassinated. So that looks like official confirmation. And he is one of the most important, if not the most important, nuclear scientists in Iran. Well, in terms of the covert nuclear weapons program, uh, that obviously is extremely controversial, has been for years and years, and has been the heart, at the heart of the way that the US administration under President Trump and Israel have looked at Iran as essentially coming close to posing a massive risk across the Middle East because of its uh, nuclear program. He has been described as the father of that program. Um, So you couldn't really choose a more significant target if that is what you were trying to harm, if that is what you're trying to damage. And also, of course, we have no idea who carried out this attack, but also if you are trying to send a very, very strong message to the Iranian leadership Uh, that no one is safe and that action of any kind will be taken against uh, their potential nuclear capability. We've already had some strong words from the head of the Revolutionary Guards who said that uh, these attacks have happened in the past and they have been revenged in the past. And that's what will happen this time. And that is the case. Back uh, between 2010 and 2012, there was a spate of assassinations of Iranian nuclear scientists. Four of them uh, were killed in relatively mysterious circumstances, but Iran pointed the finger, at least in terms of complicity, at Israel. Now, we've already had the Israeli Prime Minister, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, not making any comment on what has just happened. But we have to look at what the context is. We've seen in the past few years, with the Trump administration in power, with a very overt uh, foreign policy from Saudi Arabia and Israel under Mr. Netanyahu, an extremely strong uh, attitude, uh, a, a, a strategy of maximum pressure, the US had described it, against Iran. And now in the last weeks of the Trump administration, there's been a lot of speculation about what uh, it might do uh, in order to get its message across once again and potentially make things more difficult for the president-elect Joe Biden if he were to want to return to the Iranian nuclear deal from which President Trump walked away in 2018. Sebastian Usher, thank you very much. And Sebastian there saying that uh, it appears the defence ministry in Iran is confirming this assassination, the death of the nuclear scientist.